YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil, coming through with another sneaker review, another sneaker opinion. Y'all know what I do. And these kicks I was waiting on for a while to come down for a deal, and they actually came out with a whole, uh, maybe about like three, this colorway on three models, the Air Max 1, the Air Max 98, and the Air Max 95. And today, that is the Nike Air Max 98 in the mint colorway, fresh mint colorway, and vast gray. Now me, I actually got mine from GOAT. This is part of my GOAT haul that I had like picked up or whatever. Um, my previous kicks I ended up showing you guys were the Nike Air Trainer Hirachi. Those were brand new, but these right here are actually pre-owned. And, you know, I just hit them up, uh, cleaned them out with some of that Jason Mark and uh, got to it. Now they like fresh and clean and new. Now... Again, you know, this is not a, like a sponsored video or anything, but uh, yeah, this is my first time really seeing this kind of stuff from GOAT because they didn't give me this like last year when I bought from them. Uh, let's see, they're switching it up. But um, this was a typical GR. I didn't want to spend the money. I didn't want to spend like crazy money on it. Looking at the uh, pre-owned version, actually, um, it looked decent to me. So I just decided to cop like, you know, why not? Um, these were about the same price as the Nike Air Trainer Hirachi joints, the Regency joints. Go check out that review if you have not seen it. Um, thanks for everybody that's been watching that too as well. But this one right here cost about 75 bucks and 61 cent. The price on these are $160. So again, they came out with the Air Max 1, the Air Max 95 with this colorway. And these are the kicks right here. Hopefully my light is not blinding. Um, I know some people are against used sneakers or pre-owned sneakers, but it's one of the things, man. Like if the if the price good on them and the condition decent, I don't mind like uh, cleaning up a kick or whatever. Just to, you know what I mean? Like ain't nobody gonna know anyway. You know what I mean? So uh, it's not the biggest deal. I'm not ashamed or anything like that. Especially if it came to like a hype sneaker. Like a crazy hype sneaker that you know that's hundreds of dollars, but um, with this, this is this is just like okay, you know. I was just trying to get the deal, and again, it basically damn near looked like new, but I just still cleaned it up just because you know somebody else had it, so you never know. Um, so looking up close now, I've been stalking this sneaker for a long time, though, man. I like the way that that fresh mint is actually coming out the bottom. Kind of on camera is, no, it's not looking like lime green, but it almost kind of looked like a winter fresh green. Now, I will say this is my first suede based Air Max 98. My other Air Max 98s actually are like leather. Uh, yeah, just leather. I can't think of anything else. And the other one, yeah leather and mesh base one of them are just completely all leather um you know like the one with the lizard skin it's supposed to be that premium lizard skin stuff but one of the things i do like as well that i never get tired of with the air max 98 is this logo at the top that says air max i got mine in the size nine and a half for more of a snug fit you could go true to size with these for the most part um uh, I have more so like a slim foot. That's why I went with the snug fit of a nine and a half versus a 10. Um, going to the bottom, you still got the same fresh mint. That dark gray. See, but the thing is with these, they just should have gave us the lime green. Like the, the Air Max 95 neon joints have, the neon lime green was vote or whatever. Like they should have did that with this. I definitely still would have been on board, but I take this. This do look fly. And uh, when Easter come around, spring, this will definitely be the move. Uh, probably get wear them a little bit more or whatever. But um, this dark, uh, vast gray and everything definitely uh, uh, still tones it down. So you can actually wear it um, throughout the year. Like uh, even now, you know, around like that fall, winter time still. Be just because the, the colors are already dark anyway. But anyway, good, getting back into the sneaker. As far as like uh, craftsmanship, it's decent on this. Not nothing crazy. Y'all know how Nike do with the GR stuff. Sometimes it's hit or miss, but these are okay. As far as the suede on here. Now, I've cleaned these. I've cleaned the suede already, so my 
my suede on here or my new buck is a little bit more stiff and more tough but that's probably because I cleaned them um, last night when I had got these and uh, but when I first got them it was a little bit more plush going to the mid panel you also still have suede up here as well again with like more like that fresh mint and then you also got some of that vast like dark charcoal gray on the inside as far as the sock liner I clean the insides too like everywhere the insole everything like it's like a full blown clean up yeah, and it just smell like Jason Mark also going to the back I mean, most of y'all should be familiar with the Air Max 98 at this point. You know, it's been out for, what, uh, roughly two years. This is kind of like one of the models that Nike didn't go as wild with the colorways like they did with the Air Max 97. Well, maybe that's a good thing because uh, some of them Air Max 97 colorways just kind of a, a bit much because they just like really overdoing them. Um, but with these, definitely uh, worth it. I was just always checking a price for these though man like and these basically sitting at every local sneaker store for the most part but they just take it so damn long to discount them so if you can get them for a discount definitely you know what I mean regular price is 160 this is something I see that like maybe a hundred dollars at most but like maybe like 80 or something like that you know uh, 60 is a definitely a steal. I think that's how much these were. Yeah, these were 60 plus standard shipping and tax. You know, again, brought me up to like 75 bucks. Uh, and that's straight from a goat. So let me know what you guys got though, man. Like, is, is y'all copying these though, man? Are y'all leaving uh, into the Air Max 98? I'm surprised they don't have mesh on the tongue because this doesn't look like a mesh or feel like a mesh it kind of like look like a canvas kind of like material you also got like a canvas material going along this part of the sneaker as well like in the toe box but this right here is actually new buck and you also have new buck going around the side and let's not forget this right here the strip is actually 3m so that actually Y'all know how that work. You know, you take a picture, show it at night or something like that or something like that. Something like that. <laughs> I'm tripping. These, actually, when you take a picture, actually glow. Um, as far as the 3M strip do. Not the color. That would be fly though if these actually gl uh, glowed in the dark. But, you know, I'm dreaming. I'm wishing. Um, I got more sneaker pickups, though, coming in, though, man. Again uh you know i'm back on it uh oh yeah and um to the people that uh you know already dropped a digital marketing video versus sneaker reselling you know what i mean if you haven't seen that go see that if you feel like seeing something else as far as my take on it um and yeah they see it's like you know you down for the moment on the grind you can come back and cop now me I'm going to still try to go for the deal. You know what I mean? Because I buy more than enough sneakers in a year to warrant a deal. You know what I mean? And if you if you buy one pair of sneakers or maybe three pairs of sneakers per year, you could probably pay full price and be fine with that. You know what I mean? Because you're actually going to wear the sneaker for like a whole year constantly and all that stuff versus me where, you know, I'm trying to wear these sneakers at least like, Man, how many? I, I can't even count how many times a year. Maybe sometimes ten, or more, or something like that. And out of 365, like that's not that much. You know what I mean? So I still gotta get my rotations on, and that's why I do my sneaker rotations so I can make sure that I'm keeping up with them. So just a quick, brief overview overlay, but of this sneaker. But I'm gonna definitely hook, hook you guys up with a um, one foot. And then this little shank area also swayed too. Elastic bands as far as the lace loops go. Vast gray uh, sneaker laces. Not too much else though, man. Then to the back, it looks like that might be 3M2 on the tabs right here. Like that stripe. And 
I'm starting to see they put that QR code in there. I need to find something that make uh, Nubuck or Sway more plush again. You know, after you clean them, um, the Nubuck or Sway get kind of stiff. So, yeah, that's what's happening with this. But because before that, before I had cleaned these, um, they wasn't as stiff as they is now. But, uh, yeah. So, chime down below. Is this a cop? Is this a pickup? Is it worth it? Do you got a, a collection of Air Max 98s that you want? To me, this was the best co This was the best model for this colorway. Then second is the Air Max 95, and then third is the Air Max 1. Um, I They, they could have really hooked up the Air Max 1 when they put in this colorway on. They could have at least threw some of this, like, this darker gray on the Air Max 1 version. Um, they just basically don't just got this light gray and, like, this mint green. But... The Air Max, again, the Air Max 95s, those look cool, but these it's a little bit better than those. And again, you don't get too many Air Max 98s, too, especially in, like, fire colorways. Uh, they, they they mostly either hit or miss. Um, some in between, but it's mostly hit or miss. So, expect that one-foot video to be coming soon. And uh, I'm trying to think of everything I need to say before I head up out of here. Go check out my previous videos if you haven't already. Sneaker rotations, talk videos, clothing pickups. Uh, yeah, man. I'm going to continue doing what I do on that grind. <laughs> oh, and I did the video that that, uh, that uh, 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 digital marketing versus reselling video. One of the guys in the comments actually asked about uh the whole digital marketing thing and i already had already shot that digital marketing verse and he could resell i was just sitting on the video because i didn't know if i wanted to really release it or not so when he asked i was like oh i already kind of had a video already for that anyway so you know just dropped it um so yeah more stuff coming up soon more content coming soon peace